जय गुरु हियर इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्वांटम लॉजिक सर्किट्स एंड इक्विवेलेंट मैट्रिसेस इक्विवेलेंट यूनिटरी मैट्रिसेस हियर आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट ए टिपिकल क्वांटम लॉजिक सर्किट एंड इट्स ऑपरेशन एंड आई विल आल्सो discuss about how this logic circuit can be represented by a mathematical unitary matrices equivalent and i will also represent a equivalent unitary matrix of a typical logic circuit so before discuss about the logic circuits i'll mention few things first of all you have to know identity matrix transient product and the overview of gates which i have already discussed in the earlier classes and here i again mention quantum wire parallel quantum wire and few examples here you can see this is a quantum wire which is represented by a 2 by 2 identity matrix here you can see two parallel quantum wire which is represented by a 4 cross 4 identity matrix and if the number of parallel wire is n then ident its identity matrix is a 2 to the power n cross 2 to the power n identity matrix now here you can see a quantum wire and a parallelly a x box with a quantum wire x box means not operation so it this so this logical circuit has a particular unitary matrix till and here i am explaining how you can construct this matrix from a logical circuit here m is equals to i tensor x so it is identity matrix and it is the not matrix that is x and this so this matrix corresponds to this matrix and it is equals to a 4 plus 4 matrix which is a equivalent unitary matrix of this logic circuit now to calculate tensor product between these two matrices this entire matrix is multiplied with each element of the matrix each element of this matrix and here i am showing you here this is entire matrix multiplied by first one which gives this block now this matrix multiplied with zero which gives this block and this matrix also multiplied with zero this zero which gives this block and here also this matrix multiplied with this one which gives this block now here i am presenting another example where you can see two parallel hadamard gate and here its matrix m equals to h tensor H equals to so here H is represented by its Hadamard matrix and this is also a Hadamard matrix. So this is an equivalent unitary matrix of these two parallel Hadamard gates. And how the tensor product is done here you can see okay with this one this box this one this gives this block. this gives this block and this gives this block so it is the equivalent matrix of this two parallel hadamard gate now here i am presenting a typical logic circuit where you can see these are some operational blocks those are connected in a particular manner and this is equivalent block of this logic circuit so 
so this block obviously has a unitary matrix which gives equivalent result of this logical circuit that means if you put that means if you give some data in the input and you will get the output after operation the effect will be same for this block and how you can calculate the equivalent matrix of this logical circuit here i am explaining here this block is represented by m1 matrix and which is m1 equals to u0 tensor i tensor u1 u0 represent a operational block which has a particular matrix two cross two matrix it is an identity matrix and it is also a operation block which is also a two cross two matrix now this block this block is represented by m2 which is a control control u2 gate okay so control control u2 gate u2 represent any operation or any gate operation so it is a 8 cross 8 matrix this block represented by m3 matrix and m3 equals to i tensor u3 tensor i and last of all this gate with a parallel pair is represented by m4 matrix which is equals to i cross control u4 <coughs> c u4 which is controlled u4 and c u4 is a is represent a operational matrix which is a four cost four matrix which is depending upon its operation now u equals to that is the equivalent matrix is equals to m4 into m3 into m2 into m1 this is actually product and here it is first you should write m4 then m3 then m2 then m1 you should not multiply in any manner you must multiply with just this manner because if I give any input psi 1 psi 2 psi 3 then this first operate this block and then its output used as a input of this m2 block and again its output used as a input as m3 block and also same for last block so for operation for mathematical operation first m1 operates you, here you can see then m2 operates then m3 operates then m4 operates so if you put here a psi which is equals to if you put here you can see it is the output and it gives the output a output psi phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 and it is for same for this one now if now if ket psi 1 and ket psi 2 ket psi 3 represent by ket psi and you operated on this psi which will give phi, capital phi which is gives ket phi and which is equals to ket phi 1 ket phi 2 ket phi 3 so here you can see if this you operates on this ket psi then first m1 operates on psi then this output of m after operation this operation m2 after m3 and then m4 and obviously if you construct a equivalent matrix which is product of m1 which is product of m4 m3 m2 and m1 just you operate u matrix on psi which gives you a ket psi which is same as this consecutive operations now here i am explaining an example which is also decomposition of c naught gate by just this manner i have explained earlier here you can see i divide this c naught gate into three blocks one m1 blocks another m2 and another is m3 so here if m1 block is represented by a matrix m1 equals to i tensor h and this is by mathematical this is by matrix representation and this is the 
and it is the unitary matrix of this block and now if this matrix operates on this input which will give this output and then m2 matrix which is is nothing but the control z operation and it's this if this operates on these two inputs which gives this output and now if this block operates on this input which gives now this m3 operates on this input that is that means this entire unitary matrix operates on this one and gives and this output so now you can see equivalent matrix of these three blocks here you can see u equals to m3 m2 m1 which is equals to which here i am here m3 m2 m1 replaced by their consecutive matrices and it is the here after product, this matrix is product of these two matrix which is this one now here you can see after product of these two matrix it gives this and now here you can see it is the c0 matrix actually so you can see that how you can produce an equivalent circuit sorry how you can produce an equivalent matrix unitary matrix from a complex quantum logic circuit here i am also showing you the operation of decomposed circuit by ibm quantum computer now you can see the decomposed circuit and now ibm replace cz gate by this in recent update ibm replace cz gate by this two connecting uh, wire by this symbol actually and now i now here you can see input is 0 1 uh, input is 1 0 so what will be the output output will be 1 1 here you can see output is 1 1 and now you can see this one by real quantum computer here you can see the probability of getting 1 1 is 93.164 percent is very good probability so from this lecture you can understand how you can construct an unitary matrix unitary equivalent matrix of a complex quantum logic circuit and thank you in the next lecture i will explain some important topic on quantum computing such as superposition up to state entanglement etc thank you again